YouTube was popping. It's been a long time since we talked, man, but it's your boy Jay back here with another video. I got a banger for y'all today, man. Some real value finna be spilled. So, um, if y'all been struggling relapsing on this journey that y'all on, uh, just trying to stay consistent, stay tuned for this vid. I'm dropping some uh, tips so you won't relapse anymore. All right, man, let's get straight to it. Uh, y'all peep the AMS clap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so just a little update. Last time we talked, um, I think I wasn't on a streak. Actually, I didn't speak about it. Um, but currently, I'm on about uh, day 45. I'm really not trying to count the days. I really don't know exactly which day I'm on um, because I want to – I mean, it's a lifestyle at this point. Um, just holding your seat, not beating off to porn, not talking to – thousand different females just trying to get sex like if it comes to you it come to you but um just really holding on man staying disciplined uh is such an important thing to to have and to stay on stay focused with during this journey um so actually um uh, i learned a lot about this current streak uh previous my like longest streak or whatever was 60 days i did that about november of last year and then from November up until my current streak right now, I'll probably say I was just like on and off, like on and off. Like uh, I'll go for a week, go for two weeks, go for a month, 21 days, whatever, fall off. Just keep falling off. Keep repeating the same cycle until something really clicked for me. And my bad, y'all. Back to what I was saying. Um, my interrupt me, interrupt my video, whatever. But, uh, yeah, man. So something actually clicked for me on this uh, streak I'm on now. And it's just the fact, just plant in your mind, you have to flee. This is in the Bible. It says flee from sexual immor immorality. Every other sin in the Bible is, says that you can stand, you can fight it, and you can stand against it. But it says one sin, sexual immorality. That's lusting after women. That's porn. That's... Uh, anything sleeping with a girl you know you're not supposed to be sleeping with whatever it may be you have to flee from that and flee it means to run to to not even entertain the thought as soon as the thoughts come up as soon as you see something that triggers something and you start scrolling you get curious you just like oh i'm just gonna look for a second or oh maybe i'm just gonna edge or maybe i'm just gonna dabble in it look click a few links next thing you know one thing leads to another man and then you just gonna be back where you started day zero on this streak man you're just trying to the whole goal of it is to stay disciplined we're not going for streaks not cool points that's a lot of the stuff i see in the no fat semen retention community whatever you want to call it is it's like a, a cult type mentality everybody's just so focused on streaks and oh i got the longest streak oh i'm doing this oh blah 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 but like what are you really doing with that like what are you really doing it for what's your purpose for doing it man and until you realize that you have to have a purpose for why you're doing it then you're never going to see success with it you're never going to see the benefits you're never going to reap the benefits you'll just stay chasing that next oh counting the days counting the days counting the days until one day you slip up you scrolling on twitter you scrolling on instagram that triggers you to go somewhere else next thing you know you're back in the hole so really man my first tip uh, to just stop the relapses is to um, you just have to flee you have to run from that and you have to just not even entertain the thought of doing it like you have to uh, stop looking at it as a streak and this is uh, such and such day on semen retention start looking at it as this is lifestyle this is what I do now I don't do that no more like when somebody asks me oh what streak you on or when's the last time you like I don't do that no more like you can't even give it any attention just as soon as you think about it, if you have to throw your phone if you scrolling on something oh you feel like you can't resist that bad just throw your phone i don't have to do that before or just plant in your mind flee and every time you're on that going to that screen you can tell yourself flee 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 it'll just be sitting in your head and you just can't get it out until you click off um, and I feel like a big part of that is when I pray to body, you know, pray to the most high, pray to God, pray to Jesus. He going to help you with this journey and ask for the strength to overcome your weaknesses. You can't do this all on your own, man. I think that's where I messed up in the past. Um, it's trying to go all off willpower thinking, oh, I could do, 
oh, I could do this all myself. When in actuality, I needed help and I do need help, you know? Can't nobody do nothing on their their own. Um, you can try, you feel me? Like I did 60 days where I felt like it was just strictly willpower. I wasn't really connected with God and he wasn't really guiding my steps on it. Um, but now in this current one, I feel like I can go a long time and I'm fully in control of when or when not I choose to to sleep with a girl or like I'm just fully in control of my mind. You know, I'm still working on stuff like I don't want to have to sleep with a girl, period. You know, um, until creating the baby. And so I'm, that's when you that's what your goal should be it, when you should relapse is to create because that force is to, too powerful to just be wasting it for meaningless anything so i know people that you know they don't do porn or whatever that's great you know it is hot my guys i just moved to fucking texas it is burning up every day new car i don't got ac i'm gonna make a life update video uh coming soon too just to talk about my move why i did it uh all that type of good stuff so you stay tuned for that for sure i'm gonna get a lot more uh consistent with the videos i know i've been slacking with quarantine and everything like that it's just threw me off my game uh, I'm not trying to make excuses or nothing like that. It's just the truth. Been slacking. But yeah, man, back to the topic. So uh like I said, the first tip is just man, flee and seek, seek God. Seek something. Let me make that two actually two different uh tips. One is to just flee from sexual immorality. You just have to run from it, throw your phone, do whatever you have to do. Um as soon as those thoughts come in, as soon as you get aroused, as soon as you start scrolling, whatever, just flee from it. Next is, don't try to do it on your own, man. Pray. Pray about it. Give it to somebody. Give it to God. Give it to, I don't want to say the universe because I feel like that's false. So I won't even say that, entertain that. But you have to give it to someone higher than you. you you're not God. You know, you might feel like sometimes you a God or whatever. I mean, we were made in his image, but you're not God himself. So you can't just say, I'm going to do something and then just do it. Sometimes you have to seek external help. And then, man, the third tip I say is relating back to earlier in the video is uh, just purpose. You have to have a purpose on why you're doing this. Are you doing this for the women attraction? Are you doing this for the more energy? Are you doing it? Why are you doing it? And if that purpose is not strong enough for why you're doing it, then it's not going to happen. To me, women attraction is not a strong enough purpose to do. To Sorry about the noise in the back. But women attraction is not a strong enough purpose to fulfill on this journey you know you gotta seek something greater so like my purpose right now is just to get locked in like i shouldn't be focused on that you know it's a time and a place for everything man say in the bible it's a time to reap it's a time to sow right now i'm trying to sow more into my life i'm not reaping no harvest i'm not reaping the benefits i'm not reaping the women trash i'm not at the level to where i can even entertain that all my time should be focused on my purpose and the grind um, as for y'all too, man, if you're not where you want to be in life, why the fuck is you worried about women? Ask yourself that. If you're not where you want to be in life, why are you worried about women? You think a woman gonna you think a woman gonna want somebody with no car? You think a woman gonna want somebody with no job, no ambition, no crib, hygiene sucks, diet sucks, doesn't work out, but oh, you're doing semen retention now, you a fucking god. Now you can't, oh, oh well, girls are just going to come towards me. Oh, why haven't I seen the benefits yet? Why haven't I? Because, nigga, you're not doing nothing. You're not focused on nothing. You know you have to seek something higher, man. Y'all got to, it's just, it just boils down to ambition. What do you, what do you want? Um, and I feel like that's a good starting point for anybody when they're going after something. Is to figure out what you want and why you want it. It's a good book uh, by Simon Sinek and a uh, TED Talk. Actually, I watched the TED Talk. I didn't read the book, but uh, it's called Start With Why. You know, you want to start with your why. Who are you doing this for? What are you doing it for? And then think about, okay, now I know who I'm doing it for. What do I have to do? What do I want? Now you have a North Star of what you want. Okay, now all your energy and all your steps and all your goals can be directed towards that one path. When you not directed at nothing and you just shooting everywhere you just have no direction um so yeah man don't want to make this video too long hope y'all got some value from this 
Uh, just a slight little recap. First thing, man, is to flee from sexual immor immorality, man. If you're struggling with relapsing, just as soon as you get an urge or you want to watch some shit, just flee. Do something. Do a push-up. Do some push-ups. Throw your phone. Do some push-ups. You got to flee from that shit, man. Get it out your head. Second is um, seek God, man. He's going to help you out. Pray about it. Seek something higher. Don't rely on willpower alone. Ask for strength, um, and he'll help you out. Uh, the third thing is have purpose. Why, what, what are you doing this for? Are you just doing it for women attraction? Are you just doing it just to have glowing skin, to glow or whatever like that? What's your purpose? Like, really dig deep inside and find internally why you want to improve. Because this is that's all it is, man. It's just a self-improvement journey. Um, but, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned for more videos. It is your boy, Jay. And, yeah, we out. Peace.